I'm doing day 150, I'm sorry, 185. You're such a brat dealing with irritation. Within this point, it came up when a young one in my house, I was doing work on my computer in my room, and she came down and wanted to play, and I couldn't play because I was working, and she didn't want to hear that, and so she just kept coming down and coming down and interrupting me. And so as she wouldn't listen to me, I went into this point of irritation and anger towards her. And eventually I allowed that to direct me into yelling at her and telling her to go upstairs and um, stop bothering me and I need to work. Listen to me, listen to my directions, go upstairs. Just becoming kind of nasty within myself towards her. And within her I saw how she just went right into defense mode and reacted towards me because I came at her with reaction and um, like force towards her, like you're gonna listen to me. Not treating her as an equal, but you know, being dominant towards her. So within the self forgiveness, I walked points of stopping the irritation to accumulate and stopping the anger within myself to accumulate through allowing the points that she is, you know, living in her world and in my world as well, like how we're interacting, allowing that to affect me and react towards them. Um, because within myself, I wanted my own peace and quiet. I wanted my time to work and I didn't want to be interrupted by her. But obviously that was happening in my world and there's ways to direct it in stability and common sense and not go into reaction and yell at her. So I did the self-forgiveness on stopping the accumulation of anger. And there's actually a cool point. I had a chat with Sunette and she suggested instead of, because I was kind of like, couldn't really see this point of irritation. I was kind of judging myself within having irritation so much towards everyone. And uh, well, it's been intense. It's been intense recently, just seeing it. And uh, she said instead of you know looking at it within reaction and like judgment, just look at it within a reference point of if you're going into more and more irritation, you know that that's a point you need to work with, and look at and realize that you're being directed by it. And so I can use the irritation point as a gauge to see where I am at in my process and what I'm still allowing to direct me and what emotions are directing me. And this one was desires and anger. So, um, you know, walking the point within the correction to stop allowing myself to go into the anger and accumulate the point of irritation to a point where I couldn't, where I just kind of exploded and yelled at her. And instead of allowing that irritation because it's like an energy and it tenses your body and it's like you want to release it and through the energy intensifying, releasing it is usually yelling because the anger is and emotional obviously and you know makes you angry <laughs> and so um so within this point stopping the anger from accumulating so breathing within the beginning stages of seeing the anger kick in and the irritation breathing through it removing myself from the environment you know, allowing her to be here and, you know, within the correction, well, within this point is just removing myself from the, from the situation and becoming here in breath, releasing the anger through the breathing, you know, letting the energy move through me and go back into the earth through my feet, 
So just allow it to go through, back into the earth through my feet, through breath, through the breathing. Breathe in, release and let it release through the through your feet. If you practice this, it's really cool. It's really assisting. Um, so walking that point and then walking the points of instead of yelling at her, direct her within, you know, solutions, you know, practical points that we can work together with and allow it to allow us to both be here, be stable and um, compromise. For instance, I could say, you know, let me work for half more hour and then you can come down, we can play a computer game or we can uh, do whatever she wants to do. She likes to do movies and stuff so we can make a movie or whatever. And so just allow her to have time with me and time to play and, you know, enjoy our time together and speak the point out with her and create a compromise within both of us treating her as an equal and not yelling at her and telling her to go upstairs because I got irritated at her because of her behavior. And then later on we can discuss the point of, you know, the behavior point, how to walk, you know, solutions within herself to not allow these points of, you know, desire to direct her. That's later on when she's ready for that. Because um, when you support people, you need to support them 100% and be ready to support them 100%. And so consider that point when supporting people in your world. You kind of take responsibility for that, for them, and you're there to support them if they need support and support them in the process. And they in turn support you as well. So it's cool. But um it's just to realize that point of responsibility when supporting another in process. Also <coughs> <coughs> looking at not like I went into an ego point and saw it as a point of attack on me and so stopping the point of going into this attack mode and ego and trying to be more than her be stronger than her and you know show her that I'm bigger and older than her and she has to listen to me so stopping the point of that dynamic of you know dominant her being submissive because she's a kid and just treat kids as equals because that's what they are and who they are equal to me um, and support them as equals. So that's what I'm walking within these points, supporting her as an equal, allowing myself to compromise with her and come to practical solutions within everyday living and stop the energy from directing me into accumulating anger and irritation and causing consequence, which is not necessary. Alright, thanks for listening, and see you next time.